given how politically charged election administration is now, what is what is the good argument for having partisans run elections in Colorado? I get that it's the law, okay, but is it smart to have partisans run elections in our state? Ms. Griswold. Um, well, it is the law. It's our constitutional law. Um, and I think it's important that elected officials are accountable to voters. There are now two big lie uh, to uh, election denier secretary of state uh, in the states, uh, in the United States. They're in Texas and Florida. They're both appointed. Uh, Coloradans can see from my track record that when I expand access to voters, I expand it regardless of zip code, regardless of political affiliation. When I've taken action uh, to make sure our election infrastructure has been secure, I've taken action in both Albert County and Mesa County, uh, counties led by Democratic clerks, uh, excuse me, Republican clerks, but also in Pueblo and Alamosa, counties led by Democratic clerks. Uh, so I think that accountability is really important. Thank you very much. I get the partisans running elections is Colorado law. Is it the smart way to do it? So I have an interesting perspective on this because I was an elected nonpartisan municipal clerk. And in our debate last week, I said that I would be open to discussing it remaining elected, but also uh, <coughs> being a nonpartisan office. Because I do think that the center point of my campaign is how much um, uh, politicians taking these offices and using this platform to elevate their own pr political profile, raise millions of dollars to then spend and misinform people about their record. So I think we should have a conversation about this because the largest group of voters in Colorado are unaffiliated. They've left both the left and the right. And I think we need trusted nonpartisan leadership.